We are happy to have the Minister for Healthcare, Public Health and Sport, Gabriel Lykström, at the Embassy of Sweden and took the chance to include him to our Take 10 series. So, question number one. You have several portfolios. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Well, first of all, I would like to say thank you for, for having me. It's a wonderful opportunity to be here in Washington and talk about e-health. Uh, I have this combination of portfolios because we want to take a one health approach really on health and we would like to have a, a more holistic approach on the challenges we are facing. You are now in Washington DC together with a big business delegation. Uh, could you tell me more about the focus? Well, the focus is e-health and e-health solutions and this is a field where Sweden has been a player in many many years but uh, we still need to learn from others and uh, the US is a wonderful country in the sense that the solutions when it comes to e-health are so many, the companies, the possibilities, so I'm really happy to be able to, to bring a business delegation to, to this country. Um, question number three, how is Sweden doing regarding e-health? Well, we have been uh, engaged in this field for many decades and uh, we are successful when it comes to being able to digitalize the Swedish healthcare system. The problem now is to make the most of our IT systems and uh, that's why we are here in the US to learn from the American experiences. Uh, so question number four, what are, you, what are you expecting from your visit in DC? I expect to learn more about the, not only the challenges but also the solutions that uh, exist here in the US when it comes to e-health and I'm also expecting Swedish companies to uh, form alliances and uh, business and find business partners here in the US because I believe that that's really one of the ways we could import more solutions more knowledge to the Swedish healthcare system. Um, so question number five, what do you think the U.S. can learn from Sweden in this area? I think that the U.S. can learn a bit about the Swedish healthcare system, a bit about the um, key factors behind the success of the Swedish healthcare system. And those are of course uh, a huge focus on equity, a huge focus on creating a need-based system and uh, a system that uh, uh, really uh, exists for all the, the people, all the citizens in the country. And what do you think Sweden can learn from the US? Well, I think that we can learn a lot about uh, being more innovative, uh, being more business uh, friendly when it comes to seek solutions on daily problems, uh, that uh, the healthcare workers are facing in their daily life and I believe that a combination of uh, a Swedish need-based tax-funded system and the dynamic system of the US would be a way to modernize the Swedish healthcare system. And question number two, you just arrived from New York, could you tell us about the special UN session you attended? Well, you know, I, I, Sweden has together with especially United Kingdom and some other countries been uh, advocating a high-level meeting within the margins of uh, the UN General Assembly and um, finally we had the meeting uh, yesterday and the meeting was set up really to discuss and face the challenge of antimicrobial resistance. We got some recent reports that said that if we do nothing we will end up in a situation where 10 million people will die every year globally from antimicrobial resistance and the total costs of uh, those lives and uh, of the problems that antimicrobial resistance will bring will be more than a hundred trillion dollars. That's a huge amount of money and we need to do something to stop the development and to, to change the path of the future. 
Question number eight. How would you characterize collaboration between US and Sweden in the area of health? I would characterize it as um, good in the sense that we are two actors determined to face global health threats. We are partners not only when it comes to WHO, not only in the fight against antimicrobial resistance, but also within the framework of global health security agenda that was an, an in initiative uh, from uh, President Obama. Um, but I believe that we could strengthen our collaboration when it comes to e-health, when it comes to create a more patient-centered care. And I'm looking forward to, to deepen uh, our collaboration. Question number nine. Sweden is often mentioned as a good example of a well-functioning welfare system. Mm. Could you tell us what you are proud of regarding our social welfare system? I'm proud of uh, representing a system that is based on equity, that is based on need-based, that uh, you sh shouldn't really be able to pay for your treatment and in that sense get a better treatment than someone who isn't able to pay for it. And uh, I'm also proud of the high quality that uh, uh, the Swedish healthcare system represents. And the last question, and maybe the easiest one, why should people visit Sweden? Because Sweden is, despite its climate, an exotic country up in the north of Europe that is uh, um, unique in the sense that we have created a welfare model that uh, see to the best of uh, all people, uh, that see to the best of uh, people regardless of the uh, religious belief, regardless of the sexuality, regardless of the sex, uh, regardless of the class or other factors. And um, I'm really hoping that more people would come to Sweden and experience the country and what we can offer. Thank you so much. Thank you.